what's up guys back with a video and today <laughs> we're going to be focusing on how much work has jokes put into rb world 3 alpha so far basically let's start already now we're going to look at extreme details here for example you see there's balls in the background moving which i'm pretty sure if you know how to script the right way that's not too hard but let's give jokes credit this is a nice intro he has right here rb world 2's intro was cool but took far too long now this is cool because we have RB World 3 Alpha Play. It shows up quick and it's simple. It's it's not simple but it looks cool. It's not too messy, not anything you play. Now even though it is Alpha and the game hasn't fully came out, you have a nice main menu here. It's not too confusing. RB World 3 Update Logs. Now it tells you right here that these are update logs, all the updates that have ever happened as you can see. This is nice. This is nice GUI right here that you have on your screen. Now, we have, you can click play now, which you can go to a private server, which Jokes has put some more work into his games, as you can see throughout RB World. First of all, the old RB World, RB World 1, RB World 2, and now RB World 3. And think of all the betas and alphas and actual releases through all those games. I played every single one. I played a little bit of old RB World. Then I started RB World 1, then 2, now I'm in 3 right now. So I've basically been playing his games for a while. And I do give Jokes a lot of credit for everything he has done. A lot of people say, I hate Jokes. I hate him. From this day to that day, he's terrible. Jokes, his game's garbage. But Jokes is trying. Jokes isn't purposely not doing anything. And as much as you guys would say his game would have less bugs if he tried more, yes, that's true. But a lot of reasons Jokes' games died down is because of hackers and cheaters so that's basically the community and the people playing the game. That's their fault. And they're the ones screwing up the game. You can't get mad at jokes if some guy's aimbotting after he just banned a couple people. Like He tries to terminate all the scripts for aimbotting in RB World 2. And then a day after, someone makes a new one and they're aimbotting. And you're like, jokes, what the hell? Jokes, you suck. You can't say it like that because that's not joke's fault. He's trying. But I'm not saying jokes is awesome. Jokes has done some things that are pretty garbage. but. I'm not mad at jokes like how everyone else is. I think jokes is a decent scripter, and I like that he's put RB World out for everybody who does play it to play. And throughout the games, his game, his characters have looked more realistic and have gone different. From the first game, we had blocky people, and they were just way too fast. Every single character was as fast as a shooting guard shooter legend in RB World 2. It was insane. Like, they're all MJs. But, let's... T um. And then RB World 2 had, you know, ratings where you had it overall. And I'm sure this game's going to have something like that in the My Career. I mean, the My Player here. Which, as you can see, it's here. And Andy, Andrew, he's basically RB World 2. He's on the leaderboard, so I think he used to. Haven't been there in a while. He has a YouTube channel, too. And he does leaks there in his Discord. So, I mean, like, if you guys want to check that out, you could. I mean, like, I don't really know him too much, but I am in his Discord server. You can go to practice, which we can check out some stuff about the characters and how it looks. Practice is cool. It's basically like gym, but we have alpha, so it's different. In the first game, where you could click spawn ball, and you'd spawn the ball. But I like that. I like that better. And I hope Jokes can do some type of version where he would do that. You can spawn ball, but not like a million or something to crash the game. Like you can't spawn like 100 balls. Because that just crashes the game. Now, I do play on controller for this game. So, that's definitely cool. Um, I like controller. I always like using controller. But RB World 2, if you guys haven't seen lately, it has been different. Really? Jokes. See, jokes. That's that's the stuff that gets people mad. That's the stuff that gets people mad. Forget it. I hate you, jokes. No, but seriously. 92% should not be missing. Because, let's think about this. 92% has an 8% chance of missing, and it misses, that should not be the case. Now, so basically, you can't shoot in someone's face in this game. You can't shoot in someone's face, and then call it, oh, why is that a low percentage of those full bar? You can't shoot in someone's face. In real life, you can't shoot in someone's face in basketball. Joke just trying to make it as realistic as possible. This is only beta, but this practice mode is cool and all, but only having six balls all spawned right here is cool, but not the best thing you could do. The first RB World had the best thing where you can click spawn ball. You just say in the chat, and you automatically get a ball spawned. That was terrible. You automatically get a ball spawned to your hand. 
But in the next RB world, you had a rack, and you would pick balls from there. Now you have balls here on the side. I would like if you can click spawn ball, and a, a ball goes to your character, which would be just awesome. And you don't have to spawn, like, 100, like I said, to crash a server. It'd be like, if you get, like, if you have six balls, so you spawn max, then you click spawn ball, one of those teleports to your hand. So you don't have to keep, every time you shoot it, miss six, MJ's garbage, you go and you have to get the ball. I'm just kidding, MJ's the best character in the game, obviously. Now, let's take a look at the, the place. Basically, this isn't really all jokes, I'm pretty sure building wasn't really all for jokes. The crowd stadium looks cool. Now, I'll show you guys something else in just a second. This all looks really cool. I like how he built it. This is a nice stadium. Looks realistic. Not like realistic, like realistic, but it looks pretty cool. For a Roblox game, as they would say, Legos, looks pretty nice. To be honest, it's a cool atmosphere to play in. I like how the, all the courts look. All the courts, I'm pretty sure most teams have two jerseys, and it's cool, okay? I like that Jokes did that. We have chairs here. That looks cool. Created by Jokes. You have a nice thing here. This is just, I thought this was so awesome. When I first saw this, I thought, wow. And in the actual game, you can get on all this stuff. Like, it's not blanked off like how it is in practice, which is awesome. Like, I like having the ability to do that. Also, in the real game, you can also, let's look. take a look at the rim for a second. Hold on, take a look at the rim for a second. Look at that. Imagine if you guys were building stuff. How hard would a rim like that be able to make? Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. Look at that net. Look at that. This is Roblox. Quote Legos and look what you got here. You got MJ dribbling a basketball. Look at his hand. Look how the ball is spinning. Bulls jersey. The character looks athletic. Has a headband. And we're gonna take a look at the face. No homo. We're gonna look at the face for a second. Look at these hands. Just look at everything. This is insanely awesome for compared to regular games. You guys are expecting way too much from jokes. Now jokes is awesome, but you guys can't expect too much because this is Roblox. And Roblox isn't very limited, but most games don't look like this. This is awesome. Different hairstyles, different athletes. This guy's got wristbands. Look, I mean, arm straps. Look at this. Look at the bar. Look at this right here. He has a meter thing. Um, What's it called? A stand-up bar? I don't, I don't play 2K like that. Look at this. This is awesome. This is just... They can't blame jokes for everything because look how much work he's putting. Look at the core. This just looks awesome. Like, this looks amazing. Now, let's go check out the other stuff for a second. Just check it out. Just left. There's a pretty solid loading. It's pretty cool. Takes quick depending on your connection, but usually it takes quick. You go here, play now, go to public server. You can also follow a friend, but public server, which, as you can see, decent amount of work has been put in. You can choose your characters. Jokes has done awesome by putting in actual teams of actual players. Now, Andrew Tate's a really good power forward, so I'm going to choose him. We have a crowd with a ton of people in it compared to the first game. We just had colors where there were just like dots in the crowd. But now, and but then it went to where we had like a couple people in the crowd. But now, look what joke, the update jokes put in like a month ago. A bunch of people are here now. And it just, when you play, it's. It feels so alive. Like, it just feels awesome. Like, you score and you hear the crowd go, oh! And then you go, like, look at the court. Jokes had to put colors in for every team. Make the jerseys for every team. Make players for every team. Make builds. You guys, I'm just saying, it looks awesome. The crowd, look what they're doing. They're all humanoids. That's awesome. I think everything's super cool. Now, this whole waiting system's cool, but I'm not expecting too much, but I'm sure... In the, in the real game, it would be cool if you could have, like, you're sitting in the bench or something. It would be cool. But, yeah, let's go check out the actual game. You spawn in just right here. And so we're going to take a look at this real quick. Well, it's Memphis ball, but... All right, fine. I'll do this one play real quick. Hold on for a second, guys. So, guys, check us out. I just missed a 75. This isn't... That's stuff, jokes. But anyways, you know, you have Tuxen Rebels for every team he has this. Every team has a different character. They have five different characters that you could choose from. You have a bar. Nice jersey colors for each person. Don't pass that to me. Don't pass that to me. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Let's take a look. So, look at this face, guys. I have to look at this, guys. <laughs> so, basically, guys. As we can say, Jokes has done a decent amount of work to this game. Don't blame him for anything. It's just alpha and it already looks super cool. Except for a lot of bugs and glitches. But until then... Please subscribe, please like the video, and go add me a Roblox.